Welcome to the shop. Today I'm going to be fixing my Ultra Classic. I have a gas tank leak. The uh, seal up top is actually leaking gas. And what's happening is this was leaking fuel right in here. I had tried to tighten the screws down or talk them down I should say and I ended up snapping this one screw so at that point I just stopped call Holly they recommend placing the gasket and the screws at the same time just connect the hose just connected the electrical plug got the screws out and then the gasket just worked the gasket out now the issue is is the screw that's broken off in here am I going to be able to get that out I'm going to try vice grips and see if I can get that out of there. I can't even grab it, can I? Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Boy, if this works, I'll be like freaking ecstatic. gonna work oh man I got lucky Woo! did I get lucky on that one oh shit new gasket and 10 screws and they gave me a plant a pen and I gotta say the customer service at Russ Ocean State Holly Davidson on Albany Road in, in Warwick, Rhode Island. Great people there. Well, they treated me right while I was there anyways. So now we got 10 screws that I have to take out of each package, which is gonna take a little bit of time. I think they just put a package with 10 screws in it, but I don't know, guess not. Those old screws, right? The original screws to this bike had a plastic seal on them. The new ones actually have a rubber seal built into the washer on both sides. There's a seal on both sides. I don't know if you can see that, but it's there. All right, new gasket. It's got these little knobbies that go into the uh, plate, the cover plate here on the uh, fuel tank. So you just slide them in the holes. And that just keeps it in place. Alright, these screws don't call for a whole lot of talk. It's three newton meters on these screws. That is all that's required. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go one newton meter, then go to two, and then I'll top it off at three. Now I'm gonna work my way around this to make sure everything's right at the uh, three newton meter setting. Just checking all the bolts. All right, now a couple of tips. According to Holly, every time this gas tank plate comes off, these bolts need to be replaced. What's going to happen is if you try to retalk these after you take them out again, there's a good chance you might snap one like I did. All right, so once the gas gets in, everything's talked down, hook your stuff back up. Okay, what I did, I put zip ties on this hose just to give it a better seal so it don't leak. You don't have to. All right, it's been a few hours, or more than a few hours. And there's no more leak in here, so I'm satisfied with that repair. Now to put the cover back on.
The tricky part here is getting this gasket around the filler neck without having it pop out. Okay, now we're gonna put this back in. Get the screw started down here. Get the screw started up top. And tighten all these screws down. There it goes, just hand snug everything. And last but not least, put the gas cap back on. And that's it, she's done. Now I gotta clean this thing up. I hate seeing her dirty. So that completes the gas tank, top plate, gasket replacement, and screws. If you ever go into there, replace the screws. Uh, those screws are not made to be reused. They're aluminum, and once you get to the right torque, they stretch, so you can't reuse them. All right, any questions, comments, the usual, you know, put it down below, and uh, I'll catch you all later. Take care, everybody.